What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is Brandon back on Motor Nubs and today I'm going to be showing y'all the $5 or even free boost controller you can add to any car. So, uh, let's go. Alright, what is up guys, we are back and a couple things you will need for this boost gauge to actually work. You're going to need an Android phone, I'm not sure if it works on iPhone or not. Um, I have an old phone right here, I'm recording on my main phone, but this is just an old phone I wasn't using anymore. It was actually a prepaid phone, you can find those for like 9 10 bucks. Um, I'll find a cheap one on Amazon and put the link down below in the description. And then you also need one of these, this is a Bluetooth dongle for an OBD2 car, so that means um, your car is going to need to be in 90, 1996 or newer to be able to use this. And um, the the last thing you will need is the uh, torque application. Um, right there, torque. So what this is is an application that runs on Android phones that gives you um, like gauges. See there's a, uh, it's super hard to see with the glare, but there's a vacuum gauge and um, well I don't have this plugged in right now so it can't actually read, but once I plug this in it'll be able to read the values off the car and show if the car is in vacuum or boost and it can show a lot of other things like check engine lights. Um, it can actually clear codes and all kinds of other gauges like see if I sli swipe through here I got all kinds of gauges you can customize this any way you want and it's actually a really really cool application um, They have a, a free version so you can download that and try it out first It's missing some of the applicant or some of the the extra features, but I paid for the uh, the torque pro by the way, this isn't sponsored by any of these. This isn't not sponsored by these or that application, but Torque Pro is $4, I think. And um, these right here are five, five bucks as of recording this. I don't know what they are now, but I'll also leave a link down below in the description for the exact model Bluetooth dongle I used. Because some people said they had uh, lots of issues finding one that worked well the hooking up to their phone. So all you're gonna need to do is get this, then have a phone that has Bluetooth and is Android. You're going to plug this into your car. Let me plug this in down there. Oh, where are we at? After you plug it in and you sync it to your Bluetooth on your phone, which is just like anything else, um, it'll actually automatically connect um, from the app to the uh, the Bluetooth dongle every time you turn on your car. So it's not something you have to do. We're already connected right now, just that fast. So look, watch the gauge. See, yeah, we're already connected. Obviously, I'm not going to build much boost sitting here um, without a load on the engine, but I am going to go take it down the road and show you all some footage of it actually, um, you know, working. And it's it. and from my experience, this app is really good for the for the the little amount of money that it takes. So, all right, guys, let me go build some boost. Another thought that I had, um, I'm planning on leaving mine up here, so I just kind of wrapped the cable around. But later on, I'd, I'd probably try to tuck this this wire away so it wouldn't be visible, um, and then I have a mount. But if you guys live in a place with a high crime and high theft, luckily I don't. It's not too bad around here. But uh, just be careful leaving a phone out 24/7. It's like asking for your car to get broken into. Uh, I'm probably when I park and stuff in any areas that I'm worried about. I'm just going to throw the car or throw the phone into the glove box and uh, not leave it up on the dash. But yeah, just a word word for the wise there. But um, yeah, let's get on onto the highway so I can actually give this thing some throttle. All right, so we're going down the road and the sun glare is horrible. I can't hardly see nothing. Can you guys see it? Trying to get it where there's no glare. See, getting into a little boost. Let me downshift. Look at that, about 12 psi, and it drops off up top. So, yeah, cool little gauge. Um, you know, definitely does does the job. And as for having an electronic gauge, I used to have a WRX Subaru, and I used the access port. Um, kind of it's similar to like a little phone thing and the digital gauge on the access port was almost identical to this like responsiveness wise the um, 
the axle. I wouldn't say this is any slower or faster. So it's it's right on par with what I would expect out from um, a usable gauge. And it's got a whole lot of other options. I'll be going through those in like a future video and kind of showing what's useful more specifically for this car. But if you wanted to get a boost gauge, and especially, and especially if you got a newer car that doesn't come with a boost gauge, like why would, why would any car manufacturer sell a turbo car and not put some kind of little boost gauge on there? So um, this, is, this is a decent little option for you. So comment down below if you use Torque or Torque Pro uh, application or what's your setup, that kind of deal. I'm curious to see how many people out there um, are actually using it and what sensors you guys are using and that kind of thing. So um, thank you all for watching uh, and I will see you guys on the next one. Adios.